Hey, LimeWire blog watchers. We are here on a rainy Monday afternoon with Mr. Bobby Bear Jr. How's it going, Bobby? I'm soaking wet. Uh, me too. That's so weird. My shirt is soaking wet. Everything's soaking wet. It's that kind of day, that kind of start to the week. But we at least got this sweet guy to play a few songs, uh, which sounded lovely, sir. Um, that Did that run the, the, the gamut, those three songs? That was three songs off the new record. The so new. It, it, it touches all aspects of that record. Uh, this record is called A Storm, A Tree, My Mother's Head, which when I first saw the title, I was like, that's so esoteric and, and, and abstract and weird, but then yeah. it's actually not at all, eh? It's very lucid and real. Uh, my mom was sitting in the house I grew up in in Nashville about two and a half years ago, and there was a storm outside, and a tree broke off and fell directly on top of where she was sitting on the couch in her house. Uh -huh. And she survived, she's okay, it cracked a couple vertebrae in her neck, but she's on the record screaming. <laughs> got her to scream on the recording. As she would have when the uh, uh, yeah. incident occurred. But come to find out the most dangerous place for anyone's mother to be is on a couch. So if there's anybody out there whose mom might be on the couch right now, call them immediately and say, mom, get off the couch. Get off the couch, that's good. He'll PSA for mothers on couches oh everywhere. Uh, who knew? You know, uh, geez, yeah. That's good. That's, you're doing everyone a service. Yes. <laughs> um, so, so you just started touring the, touring the new record? Are you going all over the place? Uh, yes. We've been out for over a month now. Awesome. Holding up all right? Uh, yeah. Good. Now, you've also got quite a connection to Shel Silverstein, so I understand. Yeah. It goes back a long time. He was my dad's best friend, and he critiqued every song I wrote up until he died just over 10 years ago. Yeah, yeah, That's incredible. I mean, I can't imagine having a mentor, having Shel Silverstein as your mentor. Was he pretty, was he harsh as a critic or was he generally he, fairly constructive? He would just say, this is what I would do differently. Okay. And he'd say, this is lazy. I would have redone this. Or, and we, we wrote a song together too. So he, he shared in a lot of ways. What's that song called? It's called, I Hate Myself and It's All Your Fault. <laughs> I'm going to check that out. Excellent. Um, I know you've also produced this Shel Silverstein poem-based album, which has got incredible people on it, My Morning well, those Jack. Are all, those are all songs. Right. Oh, these are, sh those are songs. actual songs. People. I forget. Apologies. I forget he's also a really prolific songwriter as well. So these are Shel Silverstein originals covered by an amazing group of people. How is this putting it together, Labor of Love? Three years of my life, so it was fantastic. It was a lot of fun. Amazing. Every, all my friends and all my dad's friends are on there. That's so cool. So cool. Um, do you have a favorite Shel Silverstein poem and or song? Uh, sick. I cannot go to school today, said Little Pig Game and K. have the measles and the moms against fresh purple bumps. Yes. Love it. Good one. Good one. I agree. Awesome. Um, so you're gearing up for Mercury Lounge tonight in the city, yeah? Yes. Yes. Hoboken was rocking the other night. Maxwell's was packed and fantastic. But um, tonight, what is it? Uh, tonight is as a uh, Mercury Lounge. Yeah. Yes, from Max a good Wells to Mercury, hitting all the M's. Yes. Excellent. Well, we're, I'm excited for the show tonight. Thank you so much for stopping by. Great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Take also care. Be entertaining and not so sick as I am right now. <coughs> You're gonna be great. Thanks, blog watchers. <laughs>